In mathematics, especially in order theory, an upper bound of a subset S of some partially ordered set is an element of K which is greater than or equal to every element of S. The term lower bound is defined duly as an element of K which is less than or equal to every element of S. A set with an upper bound is said to be bounded from above by that bound. A set with a lower bound is said to be bounded from below by that bound. The terms bounded above are also used in the mathematical literature for sets that have upper bounds. Examples 5 is a lower bound for the set 5, 8, 42, 34, 13,934, but 8 is not. Every subset of the natural numbers has a lower bound, since the natural numbers have a least element. An infinite subset of the natural numbers cannot be bounded from above. An infinite subset of the integers may be bounded from below or bounded from above, but not both. An infinite subset of the rational numbers may or may not be bounded from below and may or may not be bounded from above. Every finite subset of a non-empty totally ordered set has both upper and lower bounds. Bounds of functions the definitions can be generalized to functions and even sets of functions. Given a function f with domain d and a partially ordered set as codomain, an element y of k is or upper bound of f if y f reach x in d. The upper bound is called sharp if equality holds for at least one value of x. Function g defined on domain d and having the same codomain as an upper bound of f if g f for each x in d. Function g is further said to be a upper bound of a set of functions if it is an upper bound of each function in that set. The notion of lower bound for functions is defined analogously, with replacing tight bounds. An upper bound is said to be a tight upper bound, a least upper bound, or a supremum if no smaller value is an upper bound. Similarly a lower bound is said to be a tight lower bound, a greatest lower bound, or an infimum if no greater value is a lower bound.